right guys welcome in welcome back to above ground world news this is going to be like a news blast we got so much news to get into we got the storm coming in my area which i'm on satellite and it will take me out <clears throat> let me get this cough out of the way all right let's jump into this let me pause this remember talking about the it's raining plastic microscopic fibers fall from the sky in the rocky mountains well this isn't the only place it looks like more gallons Anyway, we got to get into all this news. Let me play a little clip because there's something to add to these microfiber clouds. Navy Warfare Development Command tested a new anti ship missile defense system June 21st through 25th. Pandora Fog consists of shipboard radar absorbing carbon fiber clouds tested under a variety of at sea conditions using assets from the U.S. Army, Navy, and Air Force. These man made clouds are part of a layered defense and are capable of preventing a missile from detecting and striking. That's right. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. Anyway, check this out. It's snowing microplastic in the Arctic and the Alps, research suggests. So this is going on everywhere, and it's been going on. But people say we're conspiracy theorists, but now we just keep getting proved right again. And then check this out. They're making fuel out of plastics. They're turning normal plastics into diesel jp7 just like the airplane fuel and gas and then it's raining down on us and we're it's just starting to come out and you wonder where more gallons come from it's right here so i'm going to try to get all these links in the description by the morning so yeah they're making the plastics and now it's falling down and it gets worse so we got more stuff raining down from the sky vermont to airdrop oral rabies vaccines we've seen this happen down in australia with the 1080 down, or down in uh, new zealand and over in california they've dropped these before the state is gearing up to airdrop an oral rabies vaccine across vermont an initiative that officials say is a research part project with far-reaching public benefits. So since they're uh, dropping rabies vaccines on your pets without your consent, but yet it's your benefit. Starting Sunday, Vermonters will see 450,000 packs of bait fall into dozens of communities statewide. The bait will be airdropped from planes in more populated areas, hand placed to avoid homes and roadways. According to the Vermont public health veterinarian the packs will not harm pets or humans instead the injectable vaccines the bait is designed to make animals immune systems develop antibodies to fight off rabies so when did we get this rabies issue that they have to drop the poison from the sky i don't believe they should be dropping anything from the sky now we got this takeover of the jellyfish. Jellyfish are taking over the world. And of course, climate control could be to blame. For 5 million years, jellyfish have been part of the maritime ecosystem, but now they're poised to take over Earth. They had no brains, no eyes, no spine, spine, not even blood. But they have a remarkable capacity to reproduce and can pick an impressive sting both literally and figuratively. Now, most recently, vast numbers of blue bottle jellyfish were pushed ashore by unusually strong winds. <clears throat> Spells of hot weather in Queensland, Australia, stinging thousands of people in a popular swimming spot. About 13,000 stings were recorded just in the past week. In June last year, over the course of just one week, 1,000 people were stung in Volusia County, Florida. Now what people don't know about these jellyfish is when you get down, and I remember reporting on this when it happened. Let me get down here at the bottom. I'm not gonna read that whole article, but uh, let me find it here. This is why I use this for the, the title. And I gotta find it now. Where the hell is it? Okay, back in 2011, 
both reactors of the Torness nuclear power plant in Scotland were shut down after an invasion of jellyfish started blocking the cooling filters. Two years later, the jellyfish stuck again, this time in Sweden. They forced the closure of Akashaslam nuclear plant, which contains the world's largest boiling water reactor. <clears throat> the island of Luzon, home of Philippines capital, suffered a blackout in 1999 due to jellyfish. 2006, the USS Ronald Reagan, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, was bought to a standstill by thousands of the little creatures. So if these people are not uh, checking the reactor filters, man, they get clogged by this, boom, we have another Fukushima. Fukushima is was a boiling... Uh, reactor so you block the filter boom you have a fukushima man you can't trust this nuclear power now here's some uh more uh take over your freedoms here now down in australia you can get a 114 dollar penalty if you leave your car unlocked and you walk away more than three meters away it's a new fine and then nuts. This news just it just gets stranger every day. Here's some more news on the nuclear stuff. Volcano researchers delve into poorly explored surface of Australia. Scientists are worried that nuclear testing at the base of Mount Puku, I don't know how to pronounce that, could cause it to explode. A supervolcano eruption has a potential to impact Earth the same way as an asteroid. <clears throat> could be the end of the human race. So they found these Jurassic volcanic underground landscapes that has gone largely unnoticed in central Australia and just recently been discovered by scientists. Now this is crazy because we've been talking about how I met a guy the other day that works for DARPA or, you know, a contractor for him and they've been mapping all the caves in Missouri. Check this out. An international team of subsurface explorers from the university have uncovered about 100 ancient volcanoes deep within the Cooper basins. So this is just showing you another country. They're all mapping and exploring all the underground caves. If you didn't watch that video on the underground waterways underneath the United States on my D live channel, that link should be in the description. You need to go check that out. Bill Cates funding attempt to stop climate change by dimming the sun. You know, and they, they show these, these that they're going to be using weather balloons and stuff where I show every night almost that the U.S. Department of Agriculture is responsible for the cloud seeding operations. They just had the meeting back in June, the weather, Texas weather modification meeting, the Texas License Bureau, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, private contractors are cloud seeding at this very day. Here, I got a little clip of it, I think, if I hit the right scene. Hey, did you know that weather radar can show things other than storms, like here in this example? And this is actually something you'll see pretty often. In Wrong one. Early mornings during spring. I'm trying to stop that. And do I have it? Oh, man. I don't think I got that one set in here unless it's this one. No, it's not going to be that one either. All right, never mind. I don't have that one queued up. We're not using chemicals fired through rockets like other technologies use. We use a, a very um, gentle but powerful get back technology the launching electromagnetics into the... Oh, uh, man, I couldn't get back to the scene. Well, anyway, if you go back to my channel a week or so ago, I played the clip of the... Or I played the... 2019 uh, meeting on the weather engineering programs coming out of the Texas License Bureau and we found out that the U.S. Department of Agriculture is responsible for the cloud seeding operations along with the Texas License Licensing Bureau and uh, then some different contractors and then we got all the Kansas at high risk for West Niles virus. I mean, they got the whole place. 
So the Kansas Department of Health and Environment said the entire state is now at high risk for West Nile infections in its surveillance and transmission risk report. The Southwest, North Central, and Northeast reporting regions were upgraded from moderate to high risk over the areas in Kansas were already at high risk in previous reports. So there you go, man. Just more stuff. People don't even know about this. Then we got MIT, and they're going to make the first artificial meteor shower is about to be tested in space. And it's a Japanese company is about to launch a satellite that's the first step toward creating the world's first artificial meteor shower. Why do they need to create an artificial meteor shower? We just had one yesterday. What is the point of this? What are they hiding? Is this part of Project Blue Beam? Is this part of the, you know, when they, the alien invasion, they're going to make it look like all this crap's coming in on us. Who knows, man? But it shouldn't be. Why waste money on that? Now, we know the Air Force has directed energy weapons. And I'm not going to get into this article, but we know, you know, we, we have the Space Force. We've had the Space Force for years. You've heard Brumsfeld talk about it, but check this out. I didn't know this till today. Oh, I got the ad blocker on. Hold on. Let me unblock these guys for a second. Well, if you didn't know, France has launched a space force. Now, if I can get this to reload, maybe we can get to the article. France is launching a space force, space force with weaponized satellites. These satellites will be equipped with machine guns and laser weapons. The French Minister of Defense discussed the new French Space Force in a speech at Air Base 942 on July 25, 2019. Next to her on stage, the French Air Force General stands beside him on all this satellite. You know, we're going into space wars now. Guess who the targets may be? Not the Russians. Not China. The people. The depopulation. And if you didn't know this, uh, back on the 15th, today is the 15th, a Russian spy plane flew over parts of Indiana and the Midwest this week, according to the Flight 24 data. <clears throat> a Russian plane passed over parts of Indiana and the Midwest during a flight this week. The Russian Air Force jet passed over Indi Indiana Tuesday night before flying over Chicago, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, and other cities. Such flights are allowed under the Treaty on Open Skies, which permits member nations to conduct prearranged aerial surveillance over each other's territory. Treaty was signed in 1992, went into effect in 2002. 34 countries have signed it. So, hey, they're just saying, hey, yeah, come on, pick your spots for when they want to depop, you know, get your targets. Billionaire proposes to buy 15% of the planet by 2030 to protect it. Yeah, right. So this 83-year-old Swiss-born multi-billionaire pledged over $66 million to get closer to the goal to at least nine various organizations, according to Business Insider. He's already do donated over $450 million to protect millions of acres of land and water globally. It's not to protect it. It's to, to hog it and to keep it for you know, their kind, not us peasants. They want to hijack all the water. They want to hijack the land. This is all part of the new world order agenda. We're watching it every day. Lake Erie's dangerous gleam blob has grown bigger in size than Detroit suburbs. This just come out yesterday or day before. The size of the harmful algae bloom is up to 20 square, square miles from last week. Now it covers 620 square miles of Lake Erie surface, 
To put the size of Bloom in perspective, the Bloom would cover the entire Detroit metro area suburbs. Man, they're making our waters all toxic from the planned weather warfare, the floods, all the crap they're dumping out of the aircraft, all the bunker fuel that's being deployed, all the fracking, all the fertilizers. They're just ruining everything. They must be stopped. It's getting late. We actually have one good story kind of right here. City Council votes to remove fluoride from the water. So the Sheridan City Council voted unanimously Monday night to cease adding fluoride into the city of Sheridan's water supply within 24 hours. You know, why has it took so long? Unbelievable. They know it causes heart disease and all these other diseases but yet they keep forcing it down everybody's throat. Hundreds turn out to protest New York's vaccination requirement. Man, I'm actually surprised they did this in New York. At least a thousand people protested outside the courthouse where the Supreme Court justice is hearing the oral arguments to block the ban. All right. If that ain't bad enough, here's some more land grabs. The BLM buys 7,300 acres of land northeast of Missoula, Missoula. The U.S. Interior Department approved a plan to purchase 7,300 acres of a former private timber lands. So the last thing we want is the BLM to be buying up more land. You know, they'll sell the plutonium. They'll cut the woods down. So, you know, bad news for Montana. Uh, here's another <clears throat> messed up deal. Kind of like the Common Core. California public schools promote polyamory for preteens. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't even, if I pronounce it right, it'll probably just get me hidden some more. The world recently learned that the American Physiological Association promotes whatever it is, swinging and relationship anarchy. Experts say it's healthy and e ethical. They're totally nuts. So this just tells you the dark side against the light side. They're confusing the children and the grandchildren. They're going to make them where they won't fight back. They'll just take orders and uh, man. And this is just so new world order news right here. All right, guys, if you didn't see the video I put out earlier here, let me play a little clip of it. If I can get it to the right clip, and then we'll go from there military next round that's just right off frame here completely steered and engineered you can clearly see the beams of frequencies being shot out of the next rad right at the storm these things are supposed to be spinning Some of our flashes there. Beam technology frequencies. Definitely affecting the system. This is coming out of Nebraska. We can clearly see the microwave pulse, the purple representing the microwaves. Also being shot right into the front of the storm, pulsing out almost to 100 nautical miles. And when we go to the base velocity, we clearly see that the microwaves were pulsing out well beyond 100 nautical miles. This thing was in high octane mode. Look at these, these are pulsing clear out, maybe close to 200 nautical miles away. 
high powered next rad right here and when we take a look at the echo tops clear evidence of a almost like a tractor beam steering this system turning it right around we have a huge microwave pulse ring in the center of the next rad then you can see the actual cool temperatures So what I want you to notice is when this gets back to where the audio is, you notice it looks like a almost like a you notice that the the tractor beam steers the storm right around the next red. That's not even possible unless it's being completely manipulated. You see the little blue line hits this hail storm that was creating the giant hail and just steers it right around the next red. They're not going to let these storms with a big old energy beam being shot out of it at the same time. They're not going to let these big hell storms hit a next red site right there. That shows they can steer it right around the next reds. They don't want it to hit. They're not going to let it hit. If they want it to hit, you are a target. So I got just a couple more articles to get into here. And I'm actually going to try to keep these broadcasts a little bit shorter, if at all possible. So let me try to get this scene back where I had it. Yeah, my uh, I need to probably clear some memory out on this computer. I think I just got it too bogged down. All my hard drives are full. So Congress just gave sacred Apache land to a foreign mining company. Congress is poised to give a foreign mining company 22,400 20, acres of natural forest in Arizona that is cherished by the homeland to Apache natives. The measure is attached to an annual legislation that funds the U.S. Department of Defense. More land grabs. And this is what they're doing. They're trying to take all the land and then pile us all up into the mega cities. And it, it's getting so bad, people are, so many people are committing suicide that the government wants a new 911 number, but just for a suicide hotline. They want to make it 988, you know. Surprised they didn't make it 986. Anyway, it's just, uh, that's how bad it's getting. That's why we are the last generation to make a stand. And it's about time. Anyway, more than half of the U.S. beaches have fecal bacteria. Environmentalists say, I don't want this video to play. I don't know if I can stop it. So more than half the American beaches have high levels of E. coli bacteria. At least one day a year, the bacteria present in animal and human waste get into the water from waste treatment plants or storm runoff with with all the floods this year uh, it's probably way way worse than what they're saying yeah you're probably right there drone wolf it's a war against you know christians a war against white people it's just a war against people in general i mean if you look look like down in Africa where where they've killed all the white farmers down there and that they're having to move to like Sudan or somewhere you know it's just nuts the stuff that is going on it's full you know new world order that's not conspiracy man that's their plan that's what they're going by that's what the evil satanic people are going by and we're just uh, here for the ride so we can either do what we need to do or sit back and let it happen let's go ahead and take a look at the serious levels yeah this i'm surprised it hasn't took our internet connection out yet but i really need everybody out there to share these videos get people to subscribe over here they keep every day i watch you know my subscriber count will jump up over fifty-two thousand throughout the day i mean at one point today is that like it 52,300 people and then I went back and looked a couple hours later and it was back down to 50 50 uh, 1,000 
930. I don't even know what it is now, but it's, they just, and it's just happened over the last week or so. And it's because I stopped paying. I think it's because I stopped paying for the premium YouTube membership thing. And now I think they're screwing me and they don't want this information out. So it's just a rip, man. Without you guys helping share this out, it's not going to get seen. Let me enable this so we can look here. All right, so I'm just kind of checking for aerosols being deployed over Washington or over Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, or where am I at here? Nebraska, Kansas. Actually, there's pretty much a lot of aerosols everywhere. Oh, and I heard the cereal brain guy or the never, the, uh, what's his flop? He's still talking about Trump and the chemtrails. I'm not going to go listen to that guy. I think he's, you know, uh, never mind. I'm not going to get into that tonight. Yeah, I did have a bunch of stories on the Hong Kong stuff, but. I'm not going to be able to get to them tonight. All right. There's a couple things we need to go check here. Let me get this uh, set back how I had it. All right, guys, man, I was going to say this a couple weeks ago, but I don't think they're going to be able to conjure up <clears throat> any hurricanes this year coming off of the Saharas. There's like no way. You know, they keep, I noticed the, uh, until this polar vortex moves back up to the north, since we got this mega wind anomaly right above the, the equator, I mean, just right where the Sahara dust is, and it's blowing this dust straight over, there's like, like no way a hurricane's going to form out here. All the hurricanes have been forming over here by Mexico until this wind field gets to place back where it goes like let's look at last year you'll see what i'm talking about let me click apply look look at the winds up here last year they were farther north you know they were up you know about the 30 degree line or whatever that is now let me put it back on now now this wind anomaly has been here the whole time they have been heating the arctic and they're definitely heating it we can put it on the temperatures. Hey, thanks out there, Ricky. And what we see here is these lighter colored shades around the Arctic. This is from all the fire smoke. This is from the bunker fuel that's being deployed. This is an engineered heating event. We had one down here. Look, I can probably back this up a few days and we can see right here. That's, that's what's called a rapid heating event. And these are caused by the frequencies that they're deploying off these ionospheric heaters and maybe even satellite-based weaponry. But yes, yeah, see, there's a, a, a heat dome over the Arctic. There's actually a little bit right out here where the bunker fuel is being deployed. What's happening where all the bunker fuels being deployed, it's trapping the heat in so that at night the heat can't escape and it shouldn't be hot up here it's starting to turn dark up here you know they're going to start going into the darkness <clears throat> and we've seen that over the winter they tried to say this year was the hottest july ever in the 80 years of records i call bullshit we had the polar vortex we had some of the coldest temperatures on record this year down in australia they're having all kinds of ice and crazy stuff remember over in uh over here, we had seven feet of snow in one snowstorm. We had over 600 inches of snow over here in California. They're completely lying about the temperatures or lying about the global warming. What they're and they're not telling you about this. They keep they talked about the the uh, El Nino. There's no El Nino. Was there never has been this whole year. In fact, the ocean is cooling 
where the El Nino is. We can go back to our last El Nino we had it was in 2016 around January. This is what an El Nino looks like. Super hot water temperatures. You know why? You know where the El Nino is right now? It's up where they're deploying the bunker fuel. It's where they're forcing the heating issue. All the hot water on the planet is right here off the coast of California, Oregon, Washington, British Columbia, and centered over the Bering Ocean, right where the railway is going in the inner Bering Railway. This is one reason, hey, thanks sir, Trey. This is one reason that they are melting the Alaska in order to have the one world government, the one world religion, they have to have a way to ship people wherever they want. That way they can create a plan for all the people, you know, on the, you know, of course they can dump you out in the ocean on the FIBA barges and stuff. But the Russians and the Americans are all working together. They're working together on the weather warfare. And they're also working together with China, with Russia, with Siberia, with everybody to build this underground tunnel that goes underneath the Bering Sea. It goes five miles underground into Alaska, then pops up five miles underground into Russia, pops up. This is the, like the, the mega FEMA train. So this is what's going on. This is, you know, they got to get all this in place. In fact, it's probably already built. So the Bering Strait Tunnel Observation from North America and Asia. It's actually going to be through the whole world. That way, everybody, nobody can hide nowhere. There will be cameras there where, in fact, I had some stories today that they have cameras out in the woods all over the place in every forest with tracking and all that stuff. So it's just getting crazier and crazier by the day. We're, we're seeing this all pan out every single day. In fact, let's go back to the earth. No, let's check the, the dust. Cause this is going to keep us from getting any kind of hurricanes. And I've actually been saying this until that huge wind field stops pushing all this dust from the Sahara Desert over here. There's no way a hurricane's going to form out here. No way. There's no hot water. All the hot water is trapped in the Gulf of Mexico. That's from all the floods pushing down. And I forgot to look at the currents. You look at the currents. And look, nothing's getting flushed out of the Gulf of Mexico. That's why we have these mega algae blooms down here. <clears throat> They've totally messed up the currents from all the manipulation man it's all being manipulated so let's check out this waves of dust coming in these are we'll give you a chest infections no telling what kind of viruses is in this dust this is ancient dust and it it's almost appears that they're trying to bring all the dust to America. They're flooding out the desert over here on this side, and they're going to turn this all green and turn America into a dust bowl. Hey, thanks out there, bamboo, as far as I can go. So we got wave after wave after wave, and I'm going to tell you right now, there will be no hurricanes this year. And even the hurricane Barry, that wasn't a hurricane. That was a ritual. Go back and watch my video. That was a pre-planned name. And the only time it hit and the speed to make it a hurricane was for like a one minute and it was out off in the ocean and it was only lasted one wind gust so they could call it the hurricane, but it was not a hurricane. So yeah, if you're over here on the, the East coast, you're not going to have to worry about any kind of hurricane, but you know, the mainstream will be pushing it. Like there will be, there won't be. All the storms are going to develop over here. And we've seen that dust knock away every one of the hurricanes that were over here. It blasted them away. So you can't believe any of these sock puppet meteorologists 
fake news, reading the script from Raytheon actors that are on TV. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an early show. I'm trying to get these shows down a little quicker. I know a lot of people don't like to spend a whole hour in here. So I'm going to uh, kind of keep this a little shorter tonight. So anyway, guys, make sure you share this out. Try to get people over here to subscribe. we got to beat the algorithms past this 52,000 mark. That has to have something to do with it. So uh, anyway, guys, much love out there. We'll hit a couple songs on the way out. We'll hit Rise because we're going to have to rise soon. Then we'll play our fight song. And then we'll play our victory song. Anyway, guys, much love. We will catch you tomorrow night, God willing. Here we go. Turn it up.
So you just uh, mentioned contrails. So how do, do the contrails affect or have an impact on the climate? Right. Well, contrails have a huge impact on climate. And so, in fact, some of the recent modeling work that has come out of DLR suggests that contrails today, just the ones that we're able to see up in the sky, maybe today, this week, next, mm -hmm. this month, have a larger impact on Earth's climate than all of the carbon dioxide emitted by aircraft since the first powered airplane flight. So that's a huge effect. And so even as CO2 accumulates, greenhouse gases accumulate in the atmosphere, the impact of these contrails trapping heat and reflecting sunlight back into space uh, is having a huge effect on the Earth's energy balance. And so that's right, ladies and gentlemen, they're dumping more particles this week than all of the aviation since the very first plane. That's why our skies are so toxic. That's why we're all have a chest infection. That's why we're all sick. Ha 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 ha!